What is going on in here? Bread. Banana bread? I know you're excited. I don't eat banana bread. I eat gingerbread. I ordered Where is the gingerbread? It will be here until tomorrow or the next day. Uh, but there are, and there weren't any honey buns, they're out of stock. But there are Mrs. Baird's donuts coming tonight. Somebody told me because of you that I had a shitty breakfast this morning that I might as well have just eaten a tablespoon of sugar because all I had to eat was Skittles for breakfast. Well, babe, I'm sure that if you had had honey buns or donuts, that would have been better than Skittles. Well, but regardless, you have breakfast bowls. Why don't you eat breakfast bowls? So you think if I had eaten a Jimmy Dean's uh, sausage and cheese breakfast bowl that this particular individual from his high, high horse would have felt that that was a reasonable breakfast. I don't give a fuck what that's individual. You know what's interesting about these individuals who judge everything that I do? What do you think the statistical probability is that they look anything like me at all? Like, the statistical probability that anybody looks like you is next to nil. So. It's very small. There's like a very small statistical probability that there's somebody out there in my YouTube channel that can eat the shit that I eat and look as good as I look. So you would think that they would like uh, shut the fuck up, <laughs> but they don't. Uh, the reason I'm in here right is because it's the day. It's it's the what is it? Uh, day in the life video, and I am now going to do some more eating. I think that there's something in here that I want. There is. Let me show you what I'm going to have at about. Six o'clock in the evening, so I have now been awake for approximately three hours. Can I get a hand here, please? Would you open that for me so that I can hold this camera? Oh, this is me and my daughter's science fair experiment. I might show you that in a second. Yeah, that's a, that one's a bitch, isn't it? Okay, so hey, let me get judged again for my diet. So this is what I'm going to have for what kind of constitutes a, a lunch. This is a hat, two quarter pound burgers. They have nothing on them with the exception of a tiny little bit of Worcestershire, 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 Worcestershire. Why don't they come up with a better fucking name for that? Whatever that Shire sauce is, it's on there. And then like some spices. So you'll notice there's no cheese because cheese is for fat people. And there's no basically anything else on the burger because you don't need anything. And so then there's some french fries here. And we're going to take this right over here. Oh, look. It's like she knew what I was going to do. So now the oven is preheated to 350. She just saved my life because I was going to forget while recording this video. I was going to put the plastic in the oven. That was definitively going to happen. So we're going to pop. Oh, no. No, it probably doesn't matter. I don't care. Look how sexy our oven looks. Stop. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Let's have a look. So I'm going to pop that in there for about five minutes and just heat it up a little bit. That is going to be meal number two of the day. Uh, I think while that, is, while that is heating, here, let me show you something else. We have this refrigerator door that I'm about to rip off the handles so that I will be forced to buy another one. It, it just doesn't close. And so I don't know, like it, sometimes it closes, but most of the time it just lands like that. And so there's no telling how much actual energy we lose out of that door. I think it actually cycles just like everything else in this house. It goes on cycle? Yeah, because it goes through a few weeks of not closing and then a few weeks of closing just fine. Yeah, our house is a total wreck. We still have not got our shit together from when we were traveling for 66 days. We thought we were selling our house, and it looks like we're not selling our house now, that we're actually getting ready to pay like a quarter of it off in one lump sum instead. So we're about to be remodeling our house, I think, which is why everything is in such total disarray. Well, we sold off a lot of furniture and stuff, storage space, storage stuff. Yeah, so we thought we were moving into an RV. Remember that dumbass idea? Then we thought we were going to live in tents. So we sold basically everything we own. You could probably hear double talk in my voice because I'm, I'm running a video in the background that I'm, I'm making for you guys because I've been shooting so many of these. I should probably move over. So, um, so yeah, like this is pretty much a, a pointless video. All of these are pointless, though. That's right. Um, that's the thing. This whole idea is pointless. 
What's happening though, I think one of the one of the things that I am gaining from this experience is that you know when you start out to do YouTube, like the natural inclination is I want to have as many subscribers as I can get. And then and you never ask yourself, but like, do I actually want to interact with these people? And that's a problem that I have where I feel like compelled to interact with everyone that I um, that, that bothers to interact with me. I'm going to do an entire video about this, but because I need to fill the space. Uh, one of the things that's getting ready to change on my channel is I'm going to change the way that I interact with people, primarily the haters. So you're going to be free to, I'm not closing the comments and doing all that gay shit, but from now on, if a person leaves me a hateful comment and they do not have a YouTube channel that has their first, last name, and, and personal picture on it, I'm just going to ignore you. See, because we have an unfair situation where I put myself out there in the public spectrum. You guys know everything about me because I'm not a fucking coward like a bunch of you bitch motherfuckers are. So all of you bitch bitch motherfuckers who like to hide behind uh, emojis and little fake fake emblems if, if you don't put your first maybe like for one minute if you don't put your first and last name in a picture of yourself on your profile I'm not fucking talking to you if you hate on me you don't get to hate on me in secret while I disclose my life in public and then the next step of that iteration is going to be that if you have a problem with something that I say on my YouTube channel, if you think that something I said is inaccurate and you want to go in the comment section and blast me, you're free to do that. But I'm going to ghost you unless you actually make a video proving me wrong. And then I will respond to your video. But when you make a video about me, you have to do it with your full credentials. I want to know who you are, your real face, and all of that. Because if... You are, key, all you guys are keyboard warriors. Anybody can just launch critiques of somebody else's intellect or the, or the content that they produce while hiding like a bunch of bitches. And so I'm not playing, I'm not, I'm not giving you guys any more of my time or energy. I'm going to pay, I'm, I'm going to pin a, a comment on every one of my videos that says exactly that. If you don't have a profile picture and a name and you hate on me in the comment section, you will be ignored. If you, dis, if you disagree with anything that I say in any of my videos, then make a video of your own proving me wrong. And if you don't, then by default, I am right. That's the way this channel is going to run from here on out. So I think my food should be about ready. I'm going to get this food down. Maybe I will make a video while I'm eating it. Maybe I won't. So you'll see me a little bit later. What is going on in here? I'm cooking dinner. Oh, wait. Is this meal... Three of the day for me? I don't know how many you've had. Let's see, I had Skittles for breakfast. I had um, I had half a pound of ground beef with french fries for lunch. And what is this gonna be? Jalapeno chicken. Jalapeno chicken. Because I love you. My girl. Uh, one of my favorite meals that my wife makes is jalapeno chicken. So I'm gonna have a nice, healthy, healthy, I don't give a shit. I mean, what I mean is a nice, healthy dose of protein tonight. I switched over to my, uh, my Canon R6 because I didn't like the video quality that was coming from that uh, other camera I had, or my cell phone camera. My daughter, however, does not like the jalapeno chicken. So she is going to be having a little goulash. Why do you not like the jalapeno chicken? I'm not having a jalapeno chicken because I hate jalapeno chicken, so I'm having goulash because I Oh, you're already goulash. having goulash. And Paul hates goulash. Paul hates goulash? Yeah, so Paul's insane. So Paul's insane. But how come you're not insane for not eating jalapeno chicken? Because I hate jalapeno chicken. But we need for you to qualify the reason. What do you not like about it? Um... Never mind. Have oh, never mind. Have you tried it? No. You haven't even tried it? How can you know if you don't like it if you never try it? Because <laughs> I just... You don't like the way it looks? Like a, and you know I'm picky of meat. Do you know... Can I tell you a secret? Huh? 
If you try jalapeno chicken, I guarantee that you will love it. Huh? If you try jalapeno chicken, I guarantee that you will love it. Guarantee. Not gonna happen. You know I've been right every single time. <laughs> Not when, gonna happen. When have I ever told you to try something that you didn't like? Uh, Never happened. Are you uh, listening to Taylor Swift? Huh? Are you listening to Taylor Swift? No, don't show me that. Don't show me that. I can't. It's copyrighted. I, I can't have it on my computer. You can't show me anything else because YouTube throws a little hissy fit. They act like tiny, tiny babies. <laughs> so you have to just tell me what you're it's looking at. It's on Netflix. You're watching Netflix. Okay. It's cool. Barbie. It's Barbie? Yes. What did you think of the Barbie and Ken movie that we saw the other night? I liked it. You liked it? It was not the other night. Do you think Daddy looks better as as big as he is, or do you think I would look better if I was skinny like Ken? Uh, I think I I think you look better like that. You like me like this? Mm -hmm. That's that's how I know you're an angel because you <laughs> always say you always say the right answer no matter what the question. Are you going to model some of your pretty dresses for us? Uh, maybe later. Maybe later. Okay. But you know we're gonna be playing games for most of the time on New Year's Eve. And we're having a New Year's party, Daddy. Yeah. We are. And Daddy should have got. Eve maybe countdown. I should go to Grandpa's house and borrow some liquor since we can't go to the liquor store. Okay. You know, I probably should just not drink liquor. Yeah. What's the ETA on on meal number three? Ten minutes at a max. Ten minutes at a maximum. You know, you know I say that, which probably means fifteen. Minutes. Why do you say it? I'm just saying every time I give you a, a time, it's always longer. Okay. Yeah, hang on. Uh, yeah, it's just like when I say, all right, guys, um, I'm going to shoot three videos this week, and then uh, you don't hear, me, hear from me for a month. When my wife says that it's going to be 10 minutes um, for the dinner to be ready, it'll be 20 to 30. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, Anyway, there you have it. So now I don't have to shoot a separate video. Um, when she makes jalapeno chicken, I usually, I love this meal. A lot of you don't seem to understand my diet at all. And so there's always somebody who doesn't really follow my channel who gets in the comments and is like, oh my God, bro, you eat like shit. And uh, that same person will definitely believe the truth, which is calories in, calories out. So it doesn't really matter if I have Skittles for breakfast, as long as my total caloric intake for the day is where it needs to be. And as, low, as long as my macros are where they need to be. And as long as my micronutrients are where they need to be. Uh, an interesting topic that I could bring up that has not been discussed in this house recently between my wife and I is that my wife and I have had an ongoing argument about something that was recently disproven in my favor. She is one of these people who believes that you cannot get 80 plus percent of your carbohydrate sources from, you know, like Dr. Pepper, Skittles, white rice. You know, she believes the age old bullshit that you need to eat this very, very diet or you're gonna be micronutrient deficient. She's always worried about the kids have gotta get this and gotta get that or they're gonna be micronutrient deficient. So, uh, Ms. Van Dusen, would you please tell the camera um, recently when I went to the doctor and got my blood work done after eating nothing but trash for months on end, was I micronutrient deficient? I don't know. I haven't seen that. Yes, you have seen the data. What, what did, uh, I didn't, I didn't, I, didn't I was not, I was not micronutrient deficient. Vitamin D or your vitamin D uh, Who cares? Of course I'm vitamin D deficient. Everybody in America is vitamin D deficient. Who cares about all the ones where you're wrong? Well, no, I mean, yeah, I should probably take a vitamin D supplement, but as far as, but I'm not getting that for my food regardless. So that's not a fair, that's how you like to move the goalpost. You're correct, I'm giving you our time. So apparently you can get all of your micronutrients met eating the way I eat, which of course I already knew was going to be true because your body is a really, really smart thing and it craves what it needs. And so 
if I was deficient in some particular nutrient, then suddenly I would be like, man, I really want to eat some apples for some reason. Or I'd be like, I've been craving spinach. Or I'd be like, hey, uh, could you cook some asparagus with uh, the steaks tonight? Do you ever ask um, for asparagus No, I don't ever ask for, oh, hang on a second. I don't ever ask for asparagus uh, for the same reason that I don't really ask for anything green. Um, which is because I'm not a fucking giraffe, you know? I don't understand people eating green shit at all. The only green thing in my diet is baby spinach occasionally and um, and uh, lettuce. That, that's, that basically makes up 100% of the greens that I get. And here I am, apparently perfectly healthy, no vitamin, vitamin or mineral deficiencies, no scurvy. I stay peeled year round. I have tons of energy in the gym and the bedroom. Uh, I have good skin. Um, my hair is no better or worse than it's ever been. So obviously, like I said in previous videos, all of the crap that you hear about dieting is just that, it's crap. Maybe. It's designed to sell you a bunch of expensive, hard to get foods that don't provide you any actual fucking benefit. What maybe were you gonna say? Maybe they're mood stabilizers, and that's how we know that you're. Oh yes, I, my mood would probably be so much better if I ate more broccoli. That would that would that would change everything. Maybe your colon would be working better. Do you know who would be happy if I ate broccoli? The broccoli farmers. That's right, the broccoli farmers. Yeah, if you farm broccoli, then you have a vested interest in trying to convince me that I need to eat broccoli. If America start well, actually America does produce the majority of uh, soybeans, I think, nowadays. Um, anyway, you get the point. Um, everybody has bagged on me for my diet forever, and yet every single time I go to the doctor, I'm perfectly healthy, and there's no signs or symptoms of any kind of vitamin or mineral deficiency. So, like, yet again, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And if you think you do know what the fuck you are talking about, then prove it to me by actually making a video with your actual face and name on it instead of hiding behind some avatar like a pussy. That's right. I think my objective with this, with this video is to lose as many subscribers as possible. I think it's gonna work. You think so? I'm down like seven or more already. And the thing I fucking figured out is that I have to stop pandering. You know what I mean? Like if. If somebody's gonna unsubscribe to my channel because they're such a vagina that they got their panties in a little tiny wad over one thing I said, like I made a video saying porn's not destroying America. Oh, there goes some people in a fit. You know, like if you're an ultra right wing conservative Christian and you believe that Jesus is coming back to save everybody and you believe that the cracker that you eat on Sunday actually turns into the body and blood of Christ and if you believe that, you should probably just click the fucking button, bro. Because you're not going to agree with most of the shit that I say. The thing that's crazy about that, though, is I'm getting, I'm, I'm losing right-wing Christian subscribers. And it's like, why are they here to begin with? You know what I mean? Like, how, how do you go to church on Sunday and believe all that bullshit and then go home and shoot your ass full of trend? <laughs> Like what kind of twisted, twisted up worldview is this where you believe in God but also using illegal drugs for the purposes of building muscle which is totally vanity. I mean God is very clear in the Bible that you should not do anything to adorn your body in some kind of special way that all of your, you know, everything should come from God. Your entire reason for living should be to worship Him and spread His gospel. And so, like, you get mad at me because it's like, oh, yeah, he made a trend video. We like that. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, uh, he said porn's not destroying America and Christians are stupid. Oh, we're leaving. It's like, you know what? Fucking bye. See you later. On that note, I'm going to go get some food because clearly I'm getting a little bit hangry. And we'll see you on the next one.